What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. ARP just dropped the full face off between Big K and Murder Mook, man, going down on RBE. Um, May 6th, going down, man, right around the corner, man. Shouts out to ARP. Uh, this should be a good one. I got a lot of things to cover on this, so let's get right off into this. Cause y'all know you need that battle truth breakdown, man. Because you know when you know nobody breaks this down and spit this like this. Okay? See, see, this 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 is the call of duty by which makes me different than the rest. So let's get right off into this thing, man. So this opens up with uh Big K, you know, and Murder Mook, and um Let's get surgical. Check this out. I'm coming off at 30. I'm feeling all right. Just another day in the office. Though. Another day in the office? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that performance got him here sitting across from you? No, I don't know. You picked him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Big K feeling good about himself, talking about he just coming off of 30 versus A Ward. ARP asks him, do you believe that this is why he's sitting across from you right now because it is 30? Mook like, no. You picked him. Let's get off into this, because I want to talk about some things. Oh, coming off at 30? I'm feeling all right. Just another day in the office. Though. Another day in the office? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that performance got him here sitting across from you? I don't know. You picked him. <laughs> let's get into that, then. Let's get into that. Let's get into that. I did not that. pick this man. This matchup. This matchup. Um, why'd you take this match? When you got, when you got your you paid me, nigga. That's the only reason. It's bottom line. That's the only reason. So, so if we pay you the same amount to take avocado. Yeah. Avocado. Absolutely. Avocado. <laughs> I, I was going to battle you. You forgot? I do remember that. That's I said, I said, nigga, why don't you battle? The fuck is you talking about? That'll be fire. Okay. Murder Mook, like, I was going to battle you. You forgot? Why don't you battle? Why don't you battle me? That'll be fire. That's the same thing I posed to ARP2 also, like, uh, a year or so ago. Or maybe two years ago, I posed the same thing when he had people doing the face-off for him. I'm like, they not good. You need to start doing the face-offs yourself. It's your business. You know exactly, as a battle rap, not only CEO of your own league, but you also know, as a battle rap fan, and a person who also sit back as a spectator, exactly what's needed to keep this thing going, to ask the questions necessary, which reminds me, you're doing a good job. However, I can tell when, and this ain't good for you. I, I, I got to get to you too. This ain't good for you. You're doing a good job, but I, I don't like the fact if you're going to be doing these face-offs, at least by you being the league owner and this is your business, at least take the time out to at least have five to seven fire questions. Usually in the face-off, you could allow them to do their thing and you can improvise as it goes. But at least also do your part in being the one that's mediating the situation and the one that's actually there to, to make sure it don't get boring, to keep it at a high level of intensity. Make sure you have five to seven fire questions for them. So you just won't just be looking there like double dust trying to see where you can get in at. In fact, you supposed to be the one that actually sparked the moment and raised the level of intensity by which they are feeding off of you. Not uh, uh, for say so much of themselves. So just keep that in mind, brother. Start doing that because I can tell when you haven't done that. Start doing that. Five to seven fire questions. Again, you should be very, very stern on wanting to do that because it's your business. And no one should want best for your business better than yourself. So start doing that, brother. Make sure you got five to seven fire questions, okay? Now, with that being said, listen to some more. Then can move in to say something fire. And I want to talk about it. And listen. Yeah, nigga, I, same amount. My money don't change according to who I battle. Niggas money changes according to battling me. That's how they know who is who. Bottom line. Niggas get more money when they battle me. Me, I get the same money for everybody. Facts. 
That's how you know who's who. According to Mook, his money don't change based upon who he battled. So he don't care who you pick. As long as you paying my price, I battle a damn wall. As long as you paying my price, because I am who I am in battle rap, I have a price that it don't matter who it is you put there. You pay my ticket, this how much I'm charging for a battle. That's how you know who's who. Facts. At one time, Cassidy said that coming into battle rap. He can no longer say that now being in battle rap as a result of not being good in battle rap. Let's just keep it 100, man, when we talk about these things. That pride and arrogance will always cause you to actually lose in the end. When you're looking at people like Cassidy and Jay Mills, Reed Dollars, three guys who, for the most part, was, I'm going to say was, respected in battle rap. That's not the case no more now since they've been in battle rap and we see they just not really that good. I mean, people sometimes, a sprinkle, I'm going to say a sprinkle of people here and there may want to still give them hope. But let's just be realistic, man. When we look at today's battle rap and what's going on here, them guys just past daytime, man. That's why I was saying, if you know, like, like at one time, they names could bring them a lot of money in battle rap, especially for what battle rap is right now. It's a lot of money in battle rap right now, a whole lot. And more leagues want to pay that bill because they seeing what this can do. What I don't understand about them brothers when it comes to pride and arrogance this is nothing but the hustle. This is nothing but a hustling game. All this is is hustling. The only difference is you ain't using crack, hair on, weed, and pills. This ain't no different. This is hustling. You got a you, you you got a product. You put it out there. The people like it. They gonna keep coming for it. They got bad product. The J Mills, Cassidy, Murder Moot. You got bad product. At one time, they had good names to get money off this, but pride and arrogance wouldn't allow them to humble themselves to reasonably kick in to know that this is a hustle game. At one time, Cassidy could have been getting paid more money than Mook. When he did that first battle and saw it wasn't good, it was crazy. They can go back and why they get fake when it come to them? They, they want to be so real about everybody and everything else. But why they get fake when it come to them? You can look at somebody else stuff and tell where they went wrong at and where they fell off and how they didn't really sound that good and didn't do so well and call it exactly just like it is. But then when it's your turn to be put up under the microscope and you assessing and evaluating yourself, you tend to get ignorant of what's going on as though you don't have a clue. But don't know you only hurting yourself and doing the damage to you. Because we know and we seeing and we watching. You can fool yourself, but you can't fool us. What's the purpose of what I'm saying this for? Because common sense will tell you this. If I could get 200000 off my name, and I'm watching what's going on in this game, I know, it's, I know if I'm able to compete or... If I'm being, if I'm, if I'm past my years, and they past their years of what they believe is good, that's not working in this day and era in battle rap. But you got a name, and having that name, why wouldn't you? Because this is a hustle game, especially since you know ain't nobody booking y'all for features no more. Who calling up Cassie, Cassidy for a feature? Jay Mills for a feature? Reed Dollar for a feature? Who calling them to, hey, we throwing the concert. Let's get you to be the opener for our concerts. Nobody. I don't care what Jay Mills say. He'd be like, yeah, you know, whatever that song, that damn song. <laughs> what's the damn song he got with Lil Wayne that he always talk about did millions and thousands of people came to the concert? 
I still ain't went and go listen to it. I still don't know the, his verse. <laughs> Neither do I care. You stink so bad, I don't even want to see how, how hot you used to be. <laughs> You're so terrible right now. This all I want to remember you as. <laughs> this is all I think about. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go back to when you Mike was hot. I'm looking at right now. And what's crazy, them brothers ain't even smart enough to just get a ghostwriter, get a ghostwriter, and keep making money. That's how stupid they is. I would have been done that. Man, look, I'm worth two hundred thousand at the least. Look, when them dudes was gone. At the least, they can get that coming back in to at least show the battle rap community what they got and smack them what they got. Because smack them don't know that they terrible. Smack don't know that. He going to put them out there to see, though. Then he put them out there, and then he can seem like, damn, I paid 100 racks for this. But he, but keep in mind, they going to make their money back off the gate because the community don't know they whack. That's another thing about this MOOC thing where I'm getting to. The community don't know they whack. We got to hear it to be like, oh, man, they weak, bro. You give them, you, look, we let them get by with the first one. They do the first one, it be weak. You be like, well, okay, they just came back, man. So hopefully they'll learn next time around. Because you still want to give them a chance. Plus, they, it, it's refreshing the battle rap because we barely get to see them. So now they didn't came back to battle rap. They dunk it up the first time. So he'd be like, okay, man, I'm getting one more try just to see if they really is bad as what we heard the first time they returned. Then they, then they say it again. He'd be like, ah, yeah, they, they, they done. They done. They done. So now Smack them even know, like, no, nah, I ain't paying them no honey rack. Uh-uh, absolutely not. They terrible. Not a battle rap community know it. Just get you a ghost rider. Get you a ghostwriter, make Danny Meyer, Chilla Jones, Quantum Physics, DNA, make them sign that NDA where they can't say nothing. Get them like four, five racks. That's nothing. Even if you give them up to 10 racks, they write for the girls less than that. Give them like 10 racks. You getting a hundred something the better. Who cares? Plus, if you're doing good, you can keep raising up your stock. Give them a hundred or something racks of bet. Get I mean, you know, you're getting your hundred or something racks. Give them ten racks, five, five to ten racks to keep them happy and coming with better material for you. You good. Now you got a hustle. Like, man, I got a hustle. My music career over. I ain't selling records no more. Ain't, ain't nobody uh booking me for features. Ain't nobody calling me to open up for their concerts. Like, damn, how am I keep this going? Oh, man, battle rap going on? Oh, that's where we started at. We used to run it back in the days. Get a ghostwriter. And let me keep it real. Reed Dollars and Jay Mills, they got the voices. Cassidy voices okay, too. But they got the voices. They just ain't got the right material. They ain't got the material. Jay Mills got the voice. He got the stage presence. He just ain't got the material. Same thing with Reed. Reed got the voice. He ain't got the material. Cassidy, they ain't got the material. They lack up-to-date battle rap material. And could be getting all that money, man. Pride and arrogance wouldn't allow them to do it. And now, they terrible. Them brothers be looking sad. Them brothers be... Them brothers be looking like they from the senior citizen place, man. And that's why when you're talking about Mook, when he say, like, look, my money don't change. Because one thing about him is he keep winning. Then he just knocked off two of Battle Rap's top giants. Back to back. Rock and Geechee Gotti. So he can say that. He can say that. Think about Mook. Now, see, Mook was different. And Jay Mills, Cassidy, and Reed when he returned to battle rap after taking the long uh a long way away. When he returned, he just lacked the stage presence. The 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 lights coward, the big stage that that was different because he used to be in caved in face to face, one on one. Let's go. 
Now it he come back to battle rap where it's showtime. Where it's showtimes. Where the, how he rap, not fashioned to large venues. It's fashioned to small rooms who literally like locked in and listening to every word. When you rapping for a venue, you got to strategically put that material together to hit in them venues. He wasn't used to that. It didn't come off as so well. So with conversation, talking and practicing and looking into things and humbling himself, he started getting it together. The problem was never the pen. The pen always was there when it came to him. Not so much when it come to these other guys. And that's why you can tell the difference of what he's saying. My money don't change. Y'all money change. Y'all, y'all the ones who get paid based upon who you rap against. I don't pick people. They book me and tell me who they want to battle because they pay my price. Now, he can turn it down if he want to, but according to him, he don't do it. He don't do it. He talks about who he want to battle. That don't mean that it's going to happen like that because if that ain't who the other person, you know, can get or want to get, it just ain't going to go down. But that's the crazy thing. At one time, Cassidy and them could have been or would have been able to say the same thing Mook's saying right now. Can't do that no more. Smack them just pay him and Freeway ahead of time for a battle to do last year. Paid them ahead of time, both him and Freeway. But they so trash, they couldn't build the card around it to the point that it became free money for them. They did so many cards, but wouldn't even get them to come on the card. Wouldn't even get them to come on the card after they already paid them. They both was ready, Cassidy, all on hip hop and real interviews. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I don't know what the problem is. What's going on with Smack Numb? I'm ready. I got my stuff together. I'm... Smack Numb knew that. They were ready to go. But they so terrible, Smack Numb couldn't even throw them on an the undercard. Didn't even want to risk throwing them on an the undercard. Two big names. That's just how bad they is. To the point Cassidy started getting frustrated, like, man, I ain't finna keep waiting on Smack. Man, I lost a lot of money waiting on him, man. I thought this was finna go. This is supposed to Ben went down. And they threw, what they say, they throw 30 events a year, 20 to 30 events a year. Y'all couldn't find room for them brothers at all, at all. Not even on the Crucible. <laughs> you know, it wasn't no spot for them on the Crucible. It wasn't no spot. No spot on, they, they couldn't do Ultimate Madness. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop it, man. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> But they don't want to listen to me. They too prideful. Too prideful. Too arrogant. That's how I know they not street. Any dude from the street who know the politics, what? Like 200. 200 racks? Man, I ain't that good in rapping. Who be ghostwriting for people? Oh, this dude named Chilla Jones. This dude named Danny Myers. This dude named DNA. This dude named Quantum Physics. Man, get them brothers on the phone, man. Let me, let me you got you got uh info on any of them brothers? Like, yeah. Okay, man, let me get them niggas on the phone. 200,000, you said. For real? Seriously. Hey, is this Danny Myers? Yeah. How I know you the real Danny Myers. Oh, yeah, but I know you got a lot of kids. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I need you to ghost write for me. Yeah, they willing to pay me 200000 Well, I ain't even going to tell them that. Look, I need you to ghost write some stuff for me, man. How much you charge? He ain't going to say nothing because he wants the job. You know, it ain't nothing, man. Just give me, you know, you easy to get, get it for the low with Danny. My, he a rap for free. <laughs> yeah, he ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. Just invite me over. Let's play some. You got 2K? You got 2K23, the new one? Like, yeah. He got the new, what what they call the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Xbox 5. What's the new thing they got, the fifth one? What's that called? Is that Xbox or is that PS, the PS5? I think that's right. 
the PS5 or the Xbox 2? Which one? I got to be getting old. <laughs> yeah, that's that what Danny Ma be charging. You got the PS5? You got the Xbox 2? Okay, uh, how about we do this? Then Danny Miles, how about we do this? I write three rounds. You just ain't. You online? Okay, okay. Friend me online. And yeah, once in a while, let's just play 2K23. 2K23 and give me like $70. You'd be so happy. You'd be like, you know what I'm going to do, man? I'm going to do that too, but I'm going to hit you with five racks. 5,000, five, you going to, for real, you for, stop playing. You serious? You going to give me, yeah, I'm going to give you, you sure this Danny Myers? <laughs> yeah, it's me. You ain't got 5,000 yet? Man, you know, Smack them said they was going to do it, but, man, forget all that. You gonna give me five thousand for real? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm gonna send it right now. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, I got you, man. These rounds gonna be fire. <laughs> oh, it is what it is, man. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. Ain't my judge, but that's a question. It's yours. I got a lot more to cover, man.